Hey guys, this is Gavin Bursa from BRG Real Estate, back at it with another weekly video. Today, I'm on a Zoom call with Allison LeCurk from Supreme Lending, and today's video, we're gonna be going over um, some benefits of real estate investing in the Myrtle Beach area. Uh, before I give it to Allison on some of the loan options that Supreme Lending offers, I'm gonna tell you guys a teeny bit about Myrtle Beach, and especially if you guys have not heard about Myrtle Beach. Um, Myrtle Beach is actually um, among the top 10 fastest growing cities in the country. Um, Myrtle Beach is a coastal paradise with pristine beaches in South Carolina, which can make it a smart choice for real estate investing. Uh, Myrtle Beach, we have over 14 million tour tourists visit every year um, with world-class entertainment options from captivating shows, thrilling water parks, uh, championship golf courses, uh, which makes it an irresistible destination for travelers of all ages. Um, and even the thing for the golfers, um, we're actually going to be hosting our first PGA tournament in Myrtle Beach in 2024. And the people that love food like myself, we actually have more restaurants per capita than New York City and Paris, which is pretty crazy. Um, but besides it being uh, you know, Myr with Myrtle Beach, it's not just a vacation hotspot, but it's also an ideal place to call home. Uh, with, we have a diverse real estate options from, you know, beachfront condos to spacious single family homes, uh, which can be fair for all the different various lifestyles and budgets that, you know, everybody that, um, which everybody has. Uh, one of the significant advantages of investing in Myrtle Beach would be uh, the potential for rental income. Uh, especially with this, uh, you know, with having high tourism, uh, you know, renting out your property can be highly profitable, especially during those peak seasons, um, during the summer months and um, early spring. And with the Myrtle Beach market as a whole, uh, the real estate market has shown consistent growth over the years uh, with, you know, increased demand of people wanting to, you know, come visit Myrtle Beach, but also move to Myrtle Beach. Um, a lot of my clients, you know, are, are moving from up north. I mean, I'm even having clients moving from California um, that are, you know, are residing uh, and calling Myrtle Beach their home. Um, rent it, uh, let's see. And then with, you know, the limited inventory, a lot of my, like the investors I've been working with um, that, you know, are looking for a certain kind of investment property. Um, sometimes, you know, even with the market of what the market's going like in other areas in the country, uh, places are still selling really fast. Um, especially when it comes to uh, rental properties in Myrtle Beach as well. Uh, but it, it also attracts, has an attractive rent rental income potential, which creates a favorable investment climate. But I'm going to kind of give it over to Allison and she's going to give go over some uh, lending options that Supreme Lending offers. Yeah, so so I actually also would like to add, um, we're in multiple markets. So we do a lot of business from Tennessee down to Florida um, and just kind of like a few other like odd places out west as well. And the Myrtle Beach market is unlike any other market I've actually ever seen. Um, I know that when we moved here in 2022, Myrtle Beach had 30,000 building permits that were taken out like just at the end of 2021. Yeah. And I thought that was wild. Like, and then you kind of just start seeing all of these new construction just kind of like pop up everywhere. And so um, it's definitely a great option. Um, if you're looking to purchase a primary residence, you definitely have um, those uh, specific subdivisions that you can, can um, you know, can reside in depending on, you know, where you want to be located. There's definitely some great options for um, primary residence owners. Um, we have several different programs for primary residences at Supreme Lending. Um, we have, you know, standard um, conventional 5% down FHA three and a half. Um, and then we also have the VA option as well. Um, there is a new program that we just rolled out probably about a month ago, and it's our Supreme Dream program. Um, and what it is, is it's a no down payment Supreme, um, it's a no down payment FHA um, program. And so essentially what it is, is, is it's a um, second lien that we place on the property to cover your closing costs. And once you pay on time for five years, you have the second lien forgiven. That's so great. you only have, yeah, and it's great, especially for first time home buyers who maybe don't have the cash 
to put down right up front, but they still want to be able to, um, you know, af- you know, get something a little bit better. Yeah. Um, FHA is definitely a great, um, a great product for first time home buyers and even better the Supreme Dream. I mean, you can go wrong with like no down payment, right? Yeah, <laughs> so, um, but yeah, so the lien is forgiven after five years um, of on time payments absolutely fantastic um aside from primary residences my main focus um kind of shifted a little bit just with the way in the markets that we work in it's mostly investors now um i'd say probably 75 percent of what i do are investors and then i still have you know my primary residences that i work with um but investors we have a lot of great options um we have our second home product we actually have that right now at no cost with 10 percent down um, so yes, you can still do a second home with 10% down. Oh, you get a lot of client clients that are like, hey, dude, is that even an option still? It's yeah. an option. Yeah, 10% down is still an option. Uh-huh. Um, we have our investment with as little as 15% down. Um, and then we also have our products like our non-QM. So if you do have maybe a, um, a self-employed, we can do the bank statement program. Uh, we use that a lot for individuals who are self-employed and tax returns maybe aren't where we need them to be. So they're not showing as much income where we calculate it. So we use the bank statements to calculate the income. Um, you also have uh, the DSTR product, which is no income. I've kind of been seeing a lot of um, investors kind of navigating and kind of gearing towards the DSCR direction. And uh, we can do that with no prepayment penalty. So you do have the no prepayment penalty option that we do offer. Uh, We can do that on um, single family, multi-unit condo, condo tell. Um, We can do it on co-ops as well. Okay. Um, So yeah, it's a a very diverse product that we can use on multiple different, um, multiple different types of residences. Um, We just rolled out to the um, gift funds for DSCR. So we can now accept gift funds. Uh, Standard, you're not allowed to accept, you know, we can't accept any gift funds on an investment product. The DSCR is an investment product and we can now accept gift funds for that as well. So, you know, you're maybe running a little short on the 20% down payment we can do a gift fund to account for yeah. the rest of it or reserves. So yeah. however you want to use it, we can we can use it that way. Okay, well, that sounds great. I know, so much information, but there's so many things. So when we, uh, typically when we get a client in, you know, we're looking yeah. at investment. Um, I like to just kind of give everybody the options that they qualify for um, because sometimes, you know, the 10% down option may be appealing, but it may be a little more appealing if you were to put the 15 or 20% down. So. Yeah. We're vetting everybody out on um, all of the second home and investment products um, with every application. And then we'll also give you the options as well with the primary residence, hey, terms for conventional Supreme FHA, you know, what you qualify for, yeah. for each one. So it kind of gives them the power to decide, hey, I want to look at it right in front of me. I want to know, you know, my monthly payments, my mortgage insurance, you know, what my down payment is in dollar amount. Yeah. And it kind of just gives them the, I, you know, seeing everything side by side makes it a lot different than me just telling you, oh yeah, 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 this is what the monthly payment's gonna be. <laughs> yeah. So we can, you know, give them that option and they can decide what this the best move for them as a client to do. Well, that sounds great. Well, thank you so much for, you know, giving all that information with Supreme Lending. And, um, you know, I hope everybody that's watching, that's, you know, thinking about, you know, move into Myrtle Beach or, you know, invest in Myrtle Beach. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video and, you know, make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Um, All of our contact information will be in the description of the video. Uh, So feel free to, you know, reach out to Allison or myself. Um, You guys can also check out my website at www.gavinbursefrealtor.com. Um, the one thing I wanted to end the video with is, you know, investing in real in real estate in Myrtle Beach is not just a financial decision. It's an opportunity to, to be part of a vibrant community, uh, enjoying an exceptional variety of life and, you know, reap the rewards of that re- of a robust market that we have here in, in Myrtle Beach. Uh, but thank you again, Allison, for being part of this video today. And I hope all of you guys keep on enjoying the Myrtle Beach lifestyle. And I'll see you guys next week.